All right, so today, the usual Tuesday afternoon, I'm heading up to Pavilion. I um, still gotta load my bike up and stuff. I gotta move all the pit bike and things out of the way so I can get the bike in the back of the truck. Gotta go pick up Mike at his house, the one with the um, RMZ250. So I'm gonna cut really fast, get all this loaded up because I'm already behind. I still gotta stop at the store, get a tube for my rear tire just in case it goes flat because it was flat the other day after Miles Mountain. But I filled it back up and it was holding air so I wasn't really sure. It held it overnight so it should be able to, uh, should be fine for today. But just for safety measures, I'm gonna pick up a tube in case I have to change it at the track. And my snack, we're all loaded up, good to go. Finally got a cooler today with some drinks so I can have them cold and not always warm in the back of the truck. But um, yeah, we're good to go. Should probably put these Gatorades in there too because that would be the smart thing to do. Because I know, because I know I'll want them at some point. So maybe I'll throw them in there. All right, I just picked up Mike. We got his bike and everything loaded up. We can't shut the gate. I'm sure we could if we put my front tire right in the corner and his front tire in the other corner. But for right now, uh, we just got it um, bumped up a little bit so all our stuff doesn't slide out so we don't have to strap down every single thing in the bed of the truck. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get on the road and uh, try to get there on time for practice, get out there for the first practice. But that, that probably won't happen since we never usually get out for the first practice. So... Anyway, I'm gonna get on the road and I'll update you guys when we get to the track. So, we happen to see Andrew on the road. We see some black clouds. I see like one lightning strike and the, like it was kind of dark clouds. I'm like, I gotta be seeing things. I see it again and of course we're driving on the expressway. So it's downpouring. All my boots, all my gears in the back of the truck. Mike hopped in the back, trying to get through the back window <laughs> to get it all out and he couldn't reach any of it. So I bet all my stuff is nice and wet for me when we get to the track. Hopefully it didn't rain there, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about putting on wet gear and wet boots and wet chest protector and everything else. So uh, yeah, we got about probably another 30 minutes before we get to the track. Andrew just keeps changing lanes like it's his job, but um, yeah, it's still drizzling a little bit. I'm trying to figure out this stupid GoPro. I always complain about GoPros. I'm just gonna go on a little rant right now. GoPros, they never work for me. My SD cards are always full. I try to use the GoPro app to clear it out. Never, I can never just clear it. I don't understand. But uh, yeah, there might not be any GoPro in this video. Nothing's new on that part because I always don't get GoPro. But um, yeah, we'll see you guys when we get to the track or if anything else interesting happens on the way. We're sitting here. Andrew's got to change the fuse on his uh, train horn because uh, that's priorities right now not to get to the track. I don't even know what I'm saying, but he wants to prank some people or whatever Andrew does by himself. Alright, we just pulled into the track, got the bikes and stuff unloaded right there, good to go. We're getting all geared up and uh, yeah, hook on the GoPro obviously in a little bit. Um, yeah, Andrew decided he wanted me. I'm gonna be on vacation, I'm not, I won't be able to ride your house anyway. Oh yeah, keep the bars that way so it'll be easier. Mm -hmm.
this moment that he knew he f***ed up. <laughs> Yeah. That lid popped me here. Alright, so I just rode Peyton's uh, 125, as you guys saw from that GoPro and the clips he got, or maybe I'll put this in before, I don't know yet. But I felt so good on it. But just that one uphill, the lip was funny on the left side. I couldn't, couldn't really see the lip very good. It just set me off the lip funny and I landed all side. Well, you guys saw, I almost ate it. I was like just thinking, oh, I don't want to crash this bike. Don't want to crash this bike. But uh, yeah, I saved it somehow and he's riding it out there right now. So good thing I didn't break it on him. Bobby, ready? Ready. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you can't even load your own bike, dude. Just, just a little bit. Factory life. Factory life. Got the, got the hose, man. You got the girls loading your bike. Oh, yeah. I wish I did. That was perfect. Michael yeah. load my bike. Hey, guys. Yeah. Factory. Yeah. Yep. Got the mom and sister. Yeah. Tyler's sitting over here drinking some Haterade. Yup. Is it on? Is it going? Go grab my gas. Yeah, I took off all my gear. Andrew's gonna um, do some whips and stuff for the camera, the usual stuff. But um, yeah, he's got the GoPro on. Let's see what he can do. Pace it a little bit. Just dropped Mike off. 
Gotta go home, get everything else unloaded. Yeah, it should be good. Should be everything else. Alright, so I just got home. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. But uh, if you guys enjoyed the video and wanna see more, definitely post a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Hit that little bell so that way you'll get a little notification whenever I post a video. Uh, follow me on Instagram. It is just at Tyler Monaghan. My Snapchat is uh, at. I think it's T Monaghan 188 if you want to stay up to date on uh, what I'm doing as I'm doing it because it does take me a few days to get these videos up. So like I said, if you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.